No man has the right to leave the world no better than he found it. He must add something to it. Either he must make its people better and happier, or he must make the face of the world fairer to look at. Edward Bach. Welcome to Bach Tower Gardens, a place like no other. A national historic landmark nestled among rolling hills of citrus, atop one of peninsular Florida's highest points. Edward W. Bach retired from publishing and dedicated his life to conservation, the arts, world peace, and philanthropy. In the early 1920s, during visits to his winter home in the nearby Mountain Lake community, he enjoyed evening walks to the top of Iron Mountain. At 298 feet above sea level, the natural beauty of this hilltop was a place of serenity from which he observed breathtaking sunsets. Bach's dream was to preserve these grounds as a sanctuary for future generations. With an enduring love of nature and music, he called upon famed landscape architect Frederick Law Olmsted Jr. in 1922 to design a meditative garden that celebrates Florida's native plants and birds. The result is one of Olmsted's greatest achievements, a naturalistic masterpiece. Respected for his defining work on the national park system, as well as the designs of the National Mall, Jefferson Memorial, and the White House grounds, Olmsted sought inspiration for Box Garden from the natural areas of Florida. At the center of Olmsted's design is Bach's majestic singing tower, designed by architect Milton B. Maderi. Crafted of coquina, Georgia marble, and ceramic tile, the 205-foot tower houses the 60-bell carillon, one of the world's finest. Maderi's Art Deco design won the American Institute of Architects top award, harmonizing a seamless marriage between architecture and landscape. Edward Bach's only instructions were that the tower must be beautiful and reflect nature. Pelicans, songbirds, rabbits, tortoises, fox, eagles, herons, and many other creatures adorn the tower. Maderi brought with him three skilled artisans to assist in the tower's creation. Sculptor Lee Laurie is best known for his sculpture of Atlas at Rockefeller Center in New York City. J.H. Dulles Allen created the colorful tile grills that surround the bell chamber. And the intricate but massive wrought ironwork is that of famed artist Samuel Yellen, whose work is represented at the Washington National Cathedral and other historic landmarks. Mirrored in the reflection pool is Yellen's crowning jewel, the incomparable brass door. Drawn from the book of Genesis, 30 relief panels tell the story of creation. The magnificent 60 Bell Carillon was crafted by the John Taylor Bell Foundry of Loughborough, England. The bells are housed in a chamber 40 feet tall and 35 feet wide. Gerd de Hollander from Belgium is recognized as one of the top carillonneurs in the world and only the fourth resident carillonneur in the garden's history. During live concerts, watch de Hollander perform on a closed circuit television in a seating area just northwest of the tower or enjoy the concert from one of many quiet benches found throughout the gardens. I've been playing the carillon since I was five years old, since my dad is also a caroliner. So it was a lot of fun climbing all those towers and seeing all these different instruments. Um, there are about 600 instruments worldwide, and I think I'm close to playing 400 of them, and there is no place like this. Bach Tower Gardens is really, really unique. Um, the location, the setting, Historical instruments, 60 bells, 60 tons, which is incredible heavy. Um, it's just gorgeous. The bells are made of bronze, and on the inside of each bell you have a clapper. Um, so the bells don't move, it's only the clapper that moves. So when I strike a key, you have a wire going up through a clapper, and the clapper is moving um, and produces the sound. This is definitely my favorite instrument, just because of that, um, the setting, the tower, the style, um, the beautiful heavy bells, 60 tons, it's incredible. On February 1st, 1929, Edward Bach's dream of creating a place that would touch the soul with its beauty and quiet was realized. President Calvin Coolidge, joined by a host of dignitaries and honored guests, dedicated Bach Tower Gardens. Created as a bird sanctuary, the gardens is a designated site on the Great Florida Birding and Wildlife Trail. 
Walk the Pine Ridge Preserve through a pristine longleaf pine forest abounding with wildflowers, where you may see one of our resident gopher tortoises. Sit at the window by the pond to watch ducks and wading birds in a Florida wetland setting, where nature's show is always changing. Conservation is key to our mission. As part of a nationwide network of 39 botanical gardens that participate in the Center for Plant Conservation, our Rare Plant Conservation Program works to conserve rare native plants. Our region's unique geological history has created an ecosystem that is home to one of the greatest concentrations of endangered plants in the nation. 48 rare species are found on the Lake Wales Ridge and nowhere else in the world. You can see many of these plants in our endangered plant garden. Hammock Hollow Children's Garden has a native Florida character and is a place to learn through play. Children can climb on, under, and through natural structures while creating art and learning more about nature. This garden brings art and nature together with a vital connection between plants and animals and people. This area is a hub for horticultural and culinary programming, showcasing lifestyle gardening and the culinary arts. Make you the world a bit better or more beautiful because you have lived in it. Edward Bach.